Krishna Das Kaviraj had great devotion for both Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda, but his brother had only faith in Lord Chaitanya and he had very weak faith in Lord Nityananda. So Krishna Das Kaviraj would often tell his brother that you are like a a, a half a hen. The man who kicks the hens, he thinks the front part is eating food and the back part is playing eggs. So we'll cut off the front part and just keep the back part. So in the same way, Krishna Das Kaviraj's brother was only taking Lord Chaitanya but he was not accepting Lord Nityananda. So Krishna Das Kaviraj and his brother, they lived here and every day they were having kirtan and they had a pujari also. They had a person, a brahmana living there with them who was doing the puja. So it happened one day, a, a great devotee of Lord Nityananda came here. His name was Mini Ketana Ramdas. So Mini Ketana Ramdas was in the mood of the cowherd boys. And he was having a flute with him. Uh, like all the cowherd boys, they have a flute. And he was. He was a very, Mini Ketana Ramdas was very jovial person. If people would offer obeisances to him, he would climb on their back. And sometimes he would also smack people's face. He was very, very jovial person. Just like the mood of Lord Nityananda. So, Many Ketana Ramdas came here to this house because he heard every day they have kirtan here and they're great devotees. But when many Ketana Ramdas came, Krishna Das Kaviraj honored him. But the brother, the brother of Krishna Das Kaviraj did not respect him. So, Ra Mini Ketana Ramdas could understand, he said, this, this is like the second Roma Harshan Sutta. Roma Harshan Sutta did not respect Lord Balaram. When Lord Balaram came to Nandasharanya, Roma Harshan Sutta did not respect Lord Balaram. So Lord Balaram ended up taking kusha grass and piercing the heart of Roma Harsha Sutta. So, many Ketana Ramdas came here to the home of Krishna Das Kaviraj and he said this, is, as I can see, this is like the second Roma Harsha Sutta. Does not have proper respect. So, it ended up, the, 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 the atmosphere was tense because many Ketana Ramdas could understand he was not welcomed by the brother of Krishna Das Kaviraj. So it ended up many Ketana Ramdas broke his foot and he left the home, feeling very displeased. So Krishna Das Kaviraj told, told his brother, this is very bad. This is very inauspicious for you. Nothing good can come 
you have offended a great devotee. But Krishna does Kaviraj just he didn't know what to do that night. Krishna Das Kaviraj took rest here in the home. And while he was taking rest, in his sleep, Lord Nityananda appeared to him. And Lord Nityananda appeared to him, along with all of his associates. Lord Nityananda was dressed in blue, and he was also like a cowherd boy. He had his flute, he had his buffalo horn. And all of his associates, they were in a very joyful mood, and they were chanting the holy name and dancing. And then Lord Nityananda came to Krishna Das Kaviraj, and he spoke to him. He said, leave this home, get out from here, go to Vrindavan, there you will attain everything. So Krishna does Kaviraj, he woke up, he took the dream very seriously. Even though it was the middle of the night, he immediately decided, I have to leave home. He just, he didn't wait for the morning, he didn't even wait for the sun to come up. In the middle of the night, he left the home and he walked to Vrindavan and he got to Vrindavan and there he got the shelter of Rupa and Sanatan and Raghunath and he was able to hear all the glories of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Krishna Das Kaviraj was a, he was not a young man at this time. He said maybe he was like nearly nearly 80 years old. He was in old age, but he did not care. He thought, yes, I have to leave the home. If the home is unfavorable for the cultivation of Krishna consciousness, then you have to leave, you have to get out from that home. So he thought, why should I stay there with that brother of mine? He's, a, he's guilty of Vaishnav Aparad. He's offending a great devotee. And he has no faith in Lord Nityananda. So he went to Vrindavan and he got the shelter of Rupa and Raghunath. And then he went on to begin his Chaitanya Charitamrita. And we can read in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Das Kaviraj describes himself how he went to the deities and he prayed first to Madan Mohan. Madan Mohan is the deity of Sambanda. And when he offered the obeisances to Madan Mohan, the deity offered the garland. And the priest came and gave the garland to Krishna Das Kaviraj. And then he went to the other deities. Rad Govindaji and Gopinath, and they all, he prayed to all of them, he got their blessings, and he began to write the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Bande Guran Isha Bhaktan Isha Nisha Avatarakam Taj Prakatam Stataj Prati Krishna Chaitanya Samyakam Bande Shri Krishna Chaitanya Nityanando Sahodito Godo Daye Pushpavanto Chitro Samo Tamo Nudo Yadadvaitam Brahmo Panishadi Tadapyashya Tanuba Yatmantaryami Purushiti Saushamsha Vibhava Sadaishwari Purno Yaiha Bhagavan Sashwayamayam Na Chaitanya Krishna Jagati Paratadvam Paramiha. Like this, this is the beginning. This is the, the first three verses of the Chaitanya Charitamrita. So Chaitanya Charitamrita 
was written after the Chaitanya Bhagavad. Chaitanya Bhagavad was written by Vrindavan Das Thakur. Some months ago, we had gone there to the place where Vrindavan Das Thakur resides. And we saw also the manuscript of the Chaitanya Bhagavad written on palm leaves. So here also, we have the manuscript of Krishna Das Kaviraj. Although he wrote it in Vrindavan, somehow they have the manuscript here. Krishna Das Kaviraj lived here many, many years. So Pushpa Samadhi is there. That's the Pushpa Samadhi. Over here, the novice site, over there. You see that small white with the green top? That's Pushpa Samadhi. His Samadhi is actual Samadhi is in Vrindavan. And that's the Pushpa Samadhi. And at, at the back here, this is a Bhajan Kutir. Bhajan Kutir, because he, he did a lot of Bhajan here. He was here for many, many years. It was only in his old age. In his old age, he went to Vrindavan. And when you read the Chaitanya Charitamrita, he's praying that I'm getting, I'm old, it's very difficult for me to write now. I'm just praying, he was just praying that he could complete the Chaitanya Charitamrita. He said he was so old, he couldn't keep his eyes open. He had to put some stick there in his eye to keep the eyelids open. He was so old, he couldn't keep the eyes open. So like that, he was in Vrindavan, and he was writing Chaitanya Charitamrita. So Chaitanya Charitamrita is written in Bengali language, but it's very philosophical, more than the Chaitanya Bhagwat. Chaitanya Bhagwat describes the early pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That's the early, the early pastimes of Mahaprabhu. But Vrindavan Das Thakur did not describe the later pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Later pastime means after he took sannyas, what he did. Chaitanya Bhagavat mainly talks about before sannyas, his householder life. But Krishna Das Kaviraj, because he'd gone to Vrindavan, so he spent time with Raghunath Das. And Raghunath Das had been living there in Jagannath Puri. So Raghunath Das was the associate, he was the servant, he was under the care of Swarup Damodar Goswami. And Swarup Damodar Goswami, he was the secretary of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Krishna Das Kaviraj heard everything about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Swarup Damodar. He heard it from Raghunath Das. Because Raghunath Das had lived there in Jagannath Puri with them. And then after Lord Chaitanya left the world, after he completed his pastimes, and Swarup Damodar also completed his pastimes. He, he left the world and Gadarha left the world. Then Raghunath came over to Vrindavan. And he came to Vrindavan thinking he was going to give up his life. But he met Rupa and Sanatan. And they told them, you know, you can't do that, you have to stay in the world. So Raghunath was here in Vrindavan, and Krishna Das also was here all, because every day, every day the Goswamis would come together, and they would hear the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Krishna Das Kaviraj was able to write this wonderful book, which is a classic in Bengali literature. Just like we have classics in uh, English and in Chinese and Russian, there's all these famous authors. So in Bengali language, the famous author 
ornamented with many beautiful Sanskrit verses. So Krishna Das Kabiraj, he was a great scholar, he was a great poet, and he, he wrote, he wrote this, this wonderful book called Chaitanya Charitamrita. He wrote other things as well, I think like Brindavan Mandra, the, the glories of Vrindavan, Jai Radhi, Jai Krishna, Jai Vrindavan, and that was also written by Krishna Das Kaviraj. So Kaviraj means poet, the great poet. So the, the whole Chaitanya Charitamrita is poet, but it's uh, embroidered with so many different verses from the scriptures, from Srimad Bhagavatam, and from Mahabharata, and Bhagavad Gita, and many other places of many other. He was very learned, very well-read person. So we're, we're very much indebted to Krishna Das Kaviraj. And it was Srila Prabhupada who allowed us to know about this wonderful book, the Chaitanya Charitamrita, because Srila Prabhupada translated it to English. Now, there, there were other books about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. There was the Chaitanya Bhagwat, which was the first book, but Prabhupada chose to translate Chaitanya Charitamrita because it's more philosophical, much more philosophical than the Chaitanya Bhagwat. And Prabhupada wanted all of us to understand the philosophy, the teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Krishna Das Kaviraj, he was very kind on us that he took the time and he labored in his old age to write such a wonderful book that we can all hear about the wonderful pastimes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Krishna Das Kaviraj, he, he was very humble also. When you, if you read the Chaitanya Charitamrita, he has written there, he says, Jagai Madai Haiti Muni She Papista, Purushera Kita Haiti Muni She Lagista. Right? Jagai Madai Haiti, he said, I am more sinful than Jaghai and Madai. He said, Purushera Kita Haiti Munishi Lagis. I am lower than the worm in the stool. And Prabhupada said, when he writes like that, he's not just putting on a show. He's not just pretending. He actually means it. He's actually very, very humble. And he goes on to say, anybody who hears my name, they'll lose their pious activities. And if anybody chants my name, they'll become sinful. Only the mercy of Lord Nityananda could deliver such a soul as myself. So, Krishna does Kaviraj describing the humility of the Vaishnava. Then he, in the, in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, he has listed all the 26 qualities of the Vaishnava. He describes them all there, the different qualities which the devotee Vaishnava should cultivate. He describes the tree of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 
and then the tree of Lord Nityananda, and then all the descendants from Advaita Acharya. He describes the, the, reason, the, 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 the external reason for Mahaprabhu's appearance, and then he describes the confidential reason for his appearance. Because Krishna does Kaviraj, he's heard all of these things directly from the people who were involved, like Raghunath, who have heard everything from Swarup Damodar. So, they just celebrated the Disappearance Festival of Krishna Das Kaviraj here just a week ago. Just one week ago, all the many devotees all came here. You can see they're taking all the bamboo away. We have a big festival here because the disappearance of Krishna Das Kaviraj, they were celebrating. So many devotees came here to honor Krishna Das Kaviraj. So we are coming a little late, but we say better late than never. <laughs> We're very lucky that one, at least once in this lifetime we can come here to this holy place. And so we can see the deities here, the Gormitai deities and Radha Madhamo. I think they are, they are not, they're not his deities, eh? they're not Krishna Das and his deities, the small ones, yeah, the small, they are the deities worshipped by Krishna Das Kaviraj. Later on they added the Gormitai deities. So we went to, earlier this morning, we went to that that palace. Of course, it's a broken down palace now. It's not in good condition. So the palace was uh, now it's owned by there's a queen who owns that palace. She's 93 years old. And Bhakti Chiruswami met her, and Jagataka Swami Maharaj also met her. And they encouraged her that you can give the palace to Iskon, you can renovate the place, and make it nice, make it, bring it back to its glory. Remember, it's like 400 years old. So, in the course of time, 400 years is a long time. So, take everything. You know, try to understand the time of Mahaprabhu, four or five hundred years ago. There were many, many people here. In Calcutta, there was nobody. <laughs> all these cities like Calcutta and Delhi and like they, they have all come up in the recent time but all the people they used to be here in these places there were many many people here there were many villages here and they were living here in these places because people lived off the land Everybody lived off the land, everybody lived by growing rice and having cows and growing some fruit, vegetables. <laughs> so there were many, many people in this, this places. But nowadays, of course, we come here and we see Oh, and villages, well, nobody is here, and, 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 you know, there's no people, and only dogs, <laughs> and, you know, we don't see anything, you know, and then how is it? But in the past, there were many people, so we want to 
understand, remember that 400 years ago there was a lot of people here. No, there was a war. It turned out in the past there was a war at Katwa. Katwa, remember Katwa where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas at Katwa. So there was some kind of war there between the Muslim and the English or something. And so this one man named Nityananda Balao, Nityananda Balao, he helped, somehow he helped the Muslim, the Zaminda, the ruler, he helped him to win the war, to win the battle. And so the Muslim ruler was so pleased, because in the past there were many Hindus, so the, the Muslims were ruling, the Muslims were ruling the whole place. You know, when we, if you go to Ramakali, you can see where the Nawab lived, the Nawab Hussein Shah, the Nawab was the, the ruler of the whole of Bengal, very powerful. So, Rupa and Sanatan were working for him, and similarly also there were many other Hindus, they were also serving under the Muslim rulers, because they were the rulers. So they were helping and they were uh, doing service. So this one, Nityananda Balao, he helped the Muslim man, the Muslim ruler, to win the war. And so he told Nityananda Balao, you can go to my treasury and you take whatever you want. So that's a very nice offer. <laughs> you know, we like that offer. We like to have that opportunity. So he went, he went to the treasury and he took the documents to get the, the land there where the palace is. And he took also money as well. And he used the money. He, he went and took it and he offered his guru. He told his guru, I have all this, I want to give to you. But his guru said, no, I'm a sannyasi, I don't have any need for money or land. I don't need these things. He said, what to do with it? He said, you should use it for Krishna. Use it for the service of the Lord. So in this way he built the temple and put the Radha Madhava and the Astasaki there. So you, we saw the Astasaki all brass, all top. On brass, beetles, no marble beetles, and put the, the eight gopis there with Radha Madhava, and uh, began the worship. Now, but uh, nowadays you don't let anybody come in. We were very lucky that we could go in there today. None of, they don't let the public go in. For some reason, we don't know. Maybe if you like, sometimes like Ulta Danga, you know, we have a place at Ulta Danga. They have to be very careful. They have to keep security guard there. They have to put camera everywhere because people come to steal things. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, it's open to the public. You know, everything goes missing. Everything just disappears. You have to be very careful. So they keep the temple closed except for the Brahmins going to the puja. We were fortunate, we were able to go in today. So, uh, there's, there was also the, of course, Javangi Maharaji told the past time about the Ganga having the bracelet. The, the ladies wear the white bracelet showing that they are married, right? Right? So Ganga, Ganga baby, she wanted to get one white bracelet to put on her wrist, like the other ladies. So she went to market to get a bracelet, but she had no money. So they asked her, how do you know? You want a bracelet? You going to pay for it. She said, oh, you go to my father, my father, Udurandata, right? And my father will pay Udarandata. We're going to see next place. We're, we're going to go there to Udarandata's place. Udarandata was a great devotee, and he was a he was a gold merchant. He was a, a, a member of the, the his community. They're called Subarna Vaniks. Subarna means gold. 
And Vanik means the business. You know, the business is valuable. You know, four or five hundred years ago, people didn't have cars. People didn't have computers. They didn't spend their money on those computers. How did they spend the money? Gold. They buy gold. They have jewelry and ornaments. So, uh, so this. This uh, Udarandatta, he was a well-known, he was very well-known in the community. The Suvarna Vaniks, they're considered low class because they have all the money. So people who do all the business, you know, if you're good in business, it means you're good at lying and cheating. Generally, if you're a good businessman, you know, you've got to be able to lie and cheat. Otherwise, you won't make any money. So he was, you know, he was from that community, and, they were, and he was very well known. Everybody knew him. So Ganga said, "I'm the daughter of uh, Udaran, Udarananda." And so, oh no! So they let her go with the, with the bracelet. And so then Udarananda came, and the, right, he came, right? And then, and then the. the The man said, your daughter came and took the bracelet. Udaranjata <laughs> didn't have any daughter. <laughs> His wife died when she, was, when she was young and there's no issue. And so he said, my daughter, who is that? <laughs> so what happened then? And then uh, he went to take bath in Ganga. That time Ganga. Yeah, so he, he, he went to take his bath in the Ganga. And when he was taking bath with the Ganga, that time the deity of the Ganga rose up with the bracelet on her arm. And you could see the bracelet. She put, she put her arm up in the air with the bracelet on it, showing that she got the bracelet. So this, this was uh, one of the pastimes which happened. Udarandatta. We go and see his place. Udarandatta was a, a, one of the twelve gopas. Lord Nityananda traveled and preached with the Sankirtan party. He had twelve cowherd boys. Twelve from, they were from Krishna Lila and they come in the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Udarandatta was one of these twelve cowherd boys. He was a cowherd boy named Subahu. And so Udarandatta was very famous in this place, in, the, in this area. Because all the farmers, they were all rich. They were, you can see all the rice growing everywhere here. The rice means money. They make a lot of money. You grow rice, oh, you make a lot of money. And they can grow maybe twice a, twice a year. So they make a lot of money. They get a lot. What do they do with the money? They get gold, you know, they buy gold, they get bread. What do they give it to their wives, buy ornaments and rings and stuff for their children. And so Udarandatta, he was a big man in the business. And this whole area, there were many people who were doing the same business. Later on, they all moved gradually to Calcutta. Because the industry came up, industrialization, people started moving to the city. But they used to all be here in this place. After some time, they will all come back. It's just a question of time. The business will all fail, the factories will all close, the petrol will be all finished, and they will gradually all come back and live on the land. But just now, they're all there in the cities. So Udarandatta, he he's one of these 12 devotees. He was with Lord Nityananda, and by the influence of Udarandatta, he brought many of these gold merchants. They all became followers of Lord Nityananda. They all became devotees by the help of Udarandatta. He brought them all into Krishna consciousness. 
И его брат тоже ему дал. Чтобы не кричали. Джай. Еще одна собака пришла. Итак, вы можете видеть, что господин Чананда украшения, Многие его последователи, потому что были золотых дел мастера, они поэтому делают золотую шинку, билеты, шиколотки, браслеты. Все, он весь был украшен. Но также воры приносили украшения. Just like sometimes I remember in London one time this one man, one good gentleman, he said, I want to buy gold ornaments for the deities. He said, I will collect money from all the community, Indian community, we will buy gold ornaments for the deities. He said, why not? He said, because simply people will steal. То есть, говорит, почему-то люди его часто воруют. Потому что золото привлекает воров. И Господь Нитянанда видел, Однажды его тоже захотели убить. Ну, первый раз, когда они пришли, проснулись. Они сказали, и под влиянием Майи они упали, они проспали, и проснулись только на следующее утро. И они думали, о, мы проспали, ладно, давайте вернемся сюда. Они вернулись еще раз, и когда они вернулись, они увидели, что все эти... Big guards marching around the camp where Lord Nityananda was staying with the devotees. There was there were all these there were these big guards. They were huge, and they all had tilak on, and they all had big neck beads on, and they were really strong-looking people. And the gang of thieves came and they looked and they saw them. And they thought, "Whoa! How can we ever rob these people? They have all these guards. These guards will tear us apart. We'll never be able to steal anything with them here." So they went away. They said, "We'll come back after some time." They said, "We'll come back after some time." So after another, waiting for more time, they came back again. After some days, they came back, and they saw that the guards have gone. Они увидели опять. Но когда они только вошли туда, сразу стало моментально очень тяжело, появилась какая-то туча черная, и тут с неба пошел жуткий град, очень холодные, прям дикие лыжи, прям здоровые падали. Буря началась, было страшно темно. И они залезли в какую-то мусорную яму, и вот в этой мусорной яме там прятались. And there were snakes and scorpions in there. They got bitten by snakes and scorpions, and the bones were broken. They were suffering like anything. They were crying. What happened? What went wrong? So after this happened, the leader, the leader of the thieves, he understood. This Lord Nityananda, he's a very great soul. That his man has got some kind of power that he could do all this. So the leader of the thieves, he came to and he surrendered to Lord Nityananda. 
Они хотели тебя обокрасть. поняли, что вы что-то не можете сделать, это невозможно, потому что у тебя какая-то защита. Вы должны идти другим парам Поведать других парюгам. И вот они разошлись по всем этим своим парюгам, и привели много людей в сознание Кришны. Их привел тогда в Господь Чайтанья. Господь Нитянанда приводит преданных Чайтанье Махапрабху. Они, когда они предаются Шри Чайтанье Махапрабху. Вот это одна из игр, которые мы были. Okay. Are there any questions? Да, какие-то вопросы есть? Yes. Я слышала, что вы, друзья, имитировали великих преданных. Вот Кришна Кавираж. Ну, можем ли мы таких преданных имитировать вопрос? он увидел особенно сон, и сон был таким реальным, и он понял, что это наставление от Господа. И он должен был ему последовать. Также Парабхупада тоже имел увидел такой сон, что Шоу Махарадж велел принять саньясу. То есть не надо, не надо так делать. Если у вас с вами такое случится, то тогда вы можете так делать. Если вы поймете, то вы можете это делать. Если им приказал и Гуру Махарадж, поэтому они так сделали. Скажите им, что вы должны так сделать, принять саньясу. He walked. How do you go in those days, 500 years ago? How do you go? You walk. How do you walk? 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 Никаких машин не было. Обычно люди должны... А мы не можем ходить, мы лентяи. Да, мы вот видим это на парикраме, что люди вообще не могут ходить. Вот для, для рикши такой бизнес тут в эти дни. Но во время Махапрабху все ходили пешком и повсюду. Они вообще про это не думали. Рагунатас вами тоже ушел из дома, в Джаганатхапуре тоже пошел. Махапрабху пошел во Вриндаву, и как он шел? Из Пури во Вриндаву он тоже пешком пошел. В Южную Индию тоже пошел пешком. Пандапури, другие места. Ну, они вообще про это не думали. Ну, что, что так далеко. 
walking, he go to Chardam. Nowadays, he go to people go to Himalayas, go to Gangotri, Himalayas, four dams in the Himalayas. How do they go? And then one point where the, there's no car. Oh, well, helicopter is there. But how did people go in the past? But for the common people who doesn't have like dreams telling them what to do. Well, люди, well, 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 doesn't have a dream. Yeah, telling them what to do. Can yeah. we just, uh, also, like, also apply that, that when a house or a place or something is not conducive, you just leave. That's the same. Well, well you, you have, have to be guided by Sadhu Shastra и Гуру. You have to consult senior Vaishnava. Now, if you're a young woman, not young women, they shouldn't try to do anything. But, men, especially older men, это очень хорошо. Но женщины, для женщин другое дело. Женщины должны быть защищены. Yes, it's also necessary to read Chaitanya Bhagavad. You see there are many purports where Prabhupada refers. You see this, this incident is described very briefly in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, but it's described in more detail in the Chaitanya Bhagavad. And we will be told which section of the Chaitanya Bhagavata, which chapter is it described in. So yes, we should read the Chaitanya Bhagavata, even though Prabhupada didn't have time to translate it, but he expects us to be familiar and to know these things. Yes. Guru Maharaj, uh, we have translation on Russian by uh, Chaitanya Bhagavata, but this is a translation by Madh people. Can we read it? Translation by Gaudiya Math. Yes, by Gaudiya Math. Mm -hmm. On Russian translation. Without without purports, only translation. Mm -hmm. Can we read can we read it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Да, то есть вопрос. У нас есть перевод читания Багова, там только ее Гаудия Мат перевел. Можем ли мы читать? Махарад сказал, что да. In the future, hopefully, you get your own translation done by our, somebody in our own line. You have to be able to discriminate. Sometimes they may say something which is not relevant to devotees in ISKCON. So you, you have to be careful. Ну, иногда могут быть там какие-то вещи такие дискриминационные по отношению к преданному искон, поэтому надо осторожно Well, that example is given in the Chaitanya Charita Mrita. The, the point is, you have to have both the lords, the two lords, Chaitanya and Nityananda. Nityananda is like the spiritual master. He's the original personality or servitor God. And he's not different from Lord Balaram, the original spiritual master. So to come to the spirit, to come to Krishna, we have to go through the spiritual master. There has to be a spiritual master to connect us to Krishna. 
The significance is that just as the front part of the hand and the back part of the hand are inseparable, so you cannot separate Chaitanya and Nityananda. That is the main point, that they go together. We don't just simply worship Krishna. We worship Krishna along with his potency, Srimati Radharani. And similarly, we, you know, we have, we want to approach Lord Chaitanya, probably, how, how can we approach Lord Chaitanya? We have to go through Lord Nityananda. And how can we get the mercy of Lord Nityananda? We have to engage in the activities of Lord Nityananda, delivering Jagai and Madhai. Lord Nityananda is famous for delivering Jaghai and Madhai. So if we also preach to the Jaghai and Madhai, then you will become a dear servant of Lord Nityananda. Then by the mercy of Lord Nityananda, you can get the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. In some people's house, they only worship the deity of Krishna. Can you do that? Well, we can do it. Well, we do have, like, if you go to Bilpakur, in Bilpakur you see the deity of Krishna. Madan Gopal Gopal is the deity of uh, the father of Sachimata. Nelambar Chakravarti. So the deity is the Madan Gopal. So they have not added a Radharani yet. After Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, and he taught about how Krishna is actually with his potency, Radharani, then often the wife of Lord Nityananda, Janava, Janavi, Janava Mata, she would add the deity of Radharani beside the deity of Krishna. So somebody is worshipping Krishna. What Krishna are they worshipping? Are they worshipping Bala Gopal Krishna? The Bala Gopal, baby with the large head, big one. So usually, you know, the, the, you know, usually we worship Radha and Krishna. We don't usually just worship Krishna on his own. Because the, the Pope, Krishna, Prabhupada said Krishna is never on his own. Krishna is always with his potency. So the form of Radharani represents his potency. So it's more acceptable to have Radha and Krishna than simply Krishna. But everybody has their own will. Just like pictures of Krishna, Prabhupada saw the picture of Krishna and there was just some effulgence coming out of the face around the face. He said this is the Maya body presentation. We should have Krishna along with his potency. Krishna and Balara, Krishna and Radharani, Krishna and Mother Yashoda. We don't have Krishna with the cows. We don't just have Krishna. Yes, Maharaj, in this 
можно ли эти Well, every day we offer obeisances to the Vaishnavas. We don't intentionally make, we may commit some offense unintentionally. But every day we come together and we offer our obeisances and then this way we get forgiveness. You can also get forgiveness by reciting a chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. You can do different ways, you can do more chanting. Some people uh, worship Tosi, superannuate Tosi, 108 times, different ways to get rid of uh, But just simply by doing devotional service, you can not Well, that's right, because we got it. И вот через месяц, через год только понимаю, что вот этот инцидент такой вот, такое случилось, и что я должна была как-то это искупить, но уже прошло время. Я могу какое-то как-то уважение выразить через покушающие времени. В тот момент это сразу было невозможно сделать, но можно сделать через какое-то время. Махарадж говорит, да, конечно, нет проблем. Лучше, самое быстрое, это через преданное служение. Тогда вы будете защищены. Вы не хотите разрушить ваше преданное служение. Но вы должны быть в смиренном состоянии. Вы должны простить это все. Могу я спросить еще каких-то двух оскорблений? Иногда Ну, вы можете отдать то, что вы получили. Mm -hmm. 
try to be polite and try to avoid the situation, don't bring up the problem of the salvage. Specifically, this happens in the spiritual community. In the non-spiritual community, it can be said, which is what I feel and you need to be doing. But here we kind of, kind of restrain ourselves a little bit, okay, we feel offended, I don't know what is this position, better and better. But that creates a lot of internal pressure, you know, it kind of gets into the head and I think, okay, this guy is this problem of this guy, I'm just kind of adjusting myself to their ways of uh, living. Well, we learn, we learn from these things. You know, if somebody doesn't want to give the seat, then you don't want to give them a donation again. Кто-то получает, скажет, что у меня кто-то их отдает. Look, they found the manuscript, the Chaitanya Charitamrita, the original Chaitanya so try to give some donations also to help them. Старайтесь тоже дать им большое пожертвование.